737 MAX heading back. Will they hit the moon? Let's see. Might be a little too low. We'll see. Taking the runaway now, looks like a mini Tri-Jetta Falcon 900. Heading off to, I don't know. Southwest Airlines 1057, 737 heading up to Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Silver Airlines uh, ATRs heading out. This might go in front of the moon. We'll see now. It's going to turn. The moon is rising now, so it'd have to be something that gets up pretty high. Look at this, the Allegheny Retro. One of the new A321s for American Airlines pushing back. American Airlines 2943, A319 inbound from DCA. Be close on the frozen departure, but I think we'll be able to do it. Uh, it's saying 615 departure now. I think we should be able to do it. We have to probably get back inside around 6:30. and we got Spirit rolling out. One of the Spirit aircraft is coming up on Jet Tip is Mario, and I didn't see anything about it. I don't know if it was like a special livery for the, like the Mario movie or something. Or someone just gave it a funny name because it's one of the ones with the mask on it. No, so I'm not really sure. Allegheny Retro heading over to the runway. Meanwhile, taking the runway now is Flair Airlines 1601. They're heading to Toronto. Just saw on the news the other day where Flair is trying to purchase Sunwing, another Canadian low-cost carrier. As we had Flair in Cleveland earlier this year for a charter. But how about that lighting right now? Oh my goodness. special livery. It's the JetBlue Boston Red Sox A320. Look at that. Two special liveries in one shot with Alaska in the middle. I believe this aircraft fittingly came in from Boston. A lot of baseball spring training down in this area. I flew over Jupiter. Which I know a lot of teams use that area. 
spring training games kick off, I think, tomorrow. Ready for some baseball. Oh, yeah, check this out. 757 rocket ship. It came in from Atlanta. Sage Grouse. Grouse? Bird. Looks like a turkey. The United 737 heading out. 757 pull it up next to kind of its replacement for a lot of airlines, an A320 Neo, I believe. The runway right now, Velo Flight 322, 737 heading up to New Haven. Fort Lauderdale's got a kind of an interesting kind of mixture of low-cost carriers as well as some international airlines. Of course, we're not too far away from Miami, one of the busiest airports in the world. I imagine everyone who uh, doesn't want to pay to go out of Miami is flying out of here. Be a fun trip to take someday. Go down to Miami. So we're pushing back. I'm not sure this is the new livery or the old livery. I, I think it's the new livery. I'm kind of a fan of the all pink livery though. It's very different. Copa looks like they're going out on 10 right. The runway behind me. Taking the runway now. JetBlue 277 A321 heading to San Francisco. American Airlines 2399, the Allegheny Retro Special Livery heading to Dallas. JetBlue flight 1902 heading to JFK. Special livery taking off. It's the JetBlue Brooklyn Nets special livery. I'm not sure why uh, my phone is playing a theme from Frozen. Actually, I do. So I was about to post a uh, a thing on Instagram here. 
you haven't done so already, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok at Nick Flies Media. JetBlue 371, the vacations livery inbound from LaGuardia. Another JetBlue special livery. There's a lot of dead channels on my radio I gotta block out. Just nice to get some sun. We've been pretty cold. Had a snowstorm last week. This week's been pretty decent in Cleveland. Yesterday actually was very nice. Today was pretty nice. Which is nice to get down here and get some sun. Florida is a miserable place in the summer, but it is beautiful this time of year. Flew over Daytona International Speedway again, quite a bit higher than we did last time. Also flew directly over Kennedy Space Center. So that's a really cool video of that. We flew like directly over so you can see the vehicle assembly building and the shuttle landing facility and everything. Jet frozen. I um, also took on my phone actually because it's way too close for this lens. If I had known it was going to be that close, I would have brought my 2470. Got an Alaska 737-900 as we get in the golden hour down here in Fort Lauderdale. It's taxiing over to runway 10 left. Was really not sure about coming down with the uh, Drake airplane and everything going on, but my goodness, am I glad I made it down here. Where the sun starts getting in our eyes, we'll kind of look around a little bit. This, I believe, is a Hard Rock Cafe. It's a guitar-shaped uh, hotel. How cool is that? Got that beautiful sunset right now. Airplane landing in the sunset. Landing on 10 right, you can easily spot that runway for this garage as well. And this is an approved spotting area. Fort Lauderdale has several airports, or several spots around the airport that are approved spotting areas. Um, and there's even a sign posted up here that says airport watching area, so how cool. Here's one of the signs in the garage for the aircraft viewing area. Well, I wish every airport would do this, and they make money on it too. I mean, people either fly down like I did or park their car up here for a few hours. Meanwhile, over here in the ever busy Concourse D, we have another Delta Airlines Airbus A321. It's going to pull over here next to the 757. Definitely watching the time. My flight out of here is at 818, so I don't want to stick around too long. But the WestJet Frozen delivery is supposed to go at 615. Hopefully, that gets out of here on time. We still get a little bit of daylight for it. He's supposed to be out here at 7. We won't be able to make that, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I have good news. Anna and Elsa are pushing back. I get a gorgeous golden hour departure for the WestJet Frozen 8, 737 800 right in front of us. That's Alaska. Flight 360, I believe it was, is a 737 MAX 9 rolling out from LAX.
Other thing that would have made today better would be if we got an Alaska special livery too. WestJet Frozen livery. This airplane is going away, I believe, in May. Might even be sooner than that. Both of the WestJet Disney liveries will be repainted into the standard livery. WestJet did say that the Disney contract will continue. Um, so let's see if that means new liveries and what that means. But really thankful to see this airplane. It's one of my favorite special liveries. I know it's decked out inside too. Never thought I'd get a chance to see it. And the way the last month has gone, I really never thought I was going to get a chance to see it. So the way it worked out. Alaska Airlines 517 NE2CL. I guess my biggest regret today is the um, is missing the A330 that came in. I saw the her art here. Uh, United was here this morning. So overall, I cannot complain. Several special liveries, and of course the. Uh, one of the bucket list catches. Oh, Alaska behind the building. Yeah, train running through. I believe this is the same one, the bright line that runs Miami up to Orlando. That we saw in uh, Orlando a few weeks ago when we were down there. Jet Blue. There they go. Anna and Elsa heading out. They will be heading up, I believe, to Toronto. I'll get that information here for you here in a minute. Such a gorgeous livery. And how lucky are we that we got it landing on 2.8 and taking off on 10. Was a jet blue inbound. Frozen holding short down there. Now I think it's Delta. It's a legion. I got that wrong all three times. All right, taking a runway now. WestJet 1622, the frozen livery heading to Toronto.
right, that'll do it from tonight from Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport down here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We gotta get over to the terminal, get checked in, go get some dinner, and board our flight back home to Cleveland tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below, comment down below, share with all your friends. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. We got a few more surprise trips coming up, so stay tuned for that. Got to do some spotting in Cleveland and maybe Columbus again this weekend. Hope you have a great rest of the evening, and we will catch you next time from Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Have a great night, everybody.